Hi everyone, James Wagner, Ryan Ragnall back with you at Strike Zone here at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas and with another video and we have the Flux. The most excited man in 900 Global History, James Wagner as you can tell. Three, one, is what it is. But James likes this ball so much as I like the Hunter Badger Claw and uh, I'm just going to let you go with him because this is going to be the James Wagner feature video on the Flux. So, Knock yourself out, man. Alright. Um, yeah, as he was saying, I you know, I'm excited about this one. This is a ball that I've been waiting on for uh, you know, two years now that I've been signed with, with Global. Um, you know, uh, I've always looked for a solid that I feel that I can move all the way left on the approach, even loft it over the gutter cap, get it out, you know, around five and still have the energy to get back into the pocket and you know continue through. This ball does that for me. Um, you know, I've got an arsenal set up here. Um, <laughs> You're pretty much set to the point where you go to a tournament and if you get this ball in your hand, it's not getting out. You're just going to go A, B, C and if one of the, you know, you figure one of the three is going to work and you just make your adjustment with the ball and not worry so much about changing your shape right but changing your reaction maybe a little bit down the lane just right. with your pin placement right i can have an early read with one i get uh you know length and back end uh with the second and then i've got one that's a nice overall um strong arc that i can throw pretty much anywhere on the lane you'll be able to see all three of these and real quick let's show the uh the layouts they have on these. Uh, obviously two pin up, one pin down, and one thing that's kind of interesting is uh, this one, which one is this one? Actually the two that I'm kind of interested in are these two here, one being pinned down having a mass bias underneath the thumb. Uh, I have a similar mass bias location with the claw and the uh, space-time continuum, but my pins are back over here as to over here he has the pin up and the mass bias on the far side, which I have a space time continuum like that too. This one I've shown actually takes the flare and, and shrinks it down with this being a four to five inch core, flare potential core. Uh, that one really keeps it stabilized and keeps a lot of the energy down lane once it comes off the pattern. And that it does. Uh, this one a little bit higher, yeah, I, well. <laughs> This one here, not quite the North Star that, that Barnes likes, but this is still a, a pretty high uh, pretty high pin. Uh, go ahead and talk about the layouts real quick, to measure, the uh, specs on it, the measurements that you have on it. Okay. Uh, this one here is um, similar to my typical uh, asymmetrical drill, 60 by 3 by 30. This is a little bit higher. Uh, this is 80 by 4 by 40. Um, this is the one that goes long. It has a nice sharp reaction off the back end. Uh, this one is going to be more of my starter ball. Uh, this one is 45 by 6 by 25. Gets it reading a little earlier on the lane, um, especially on a heavier oil pattern. This is uh, the one I, that I would probably go towards. Um, and then it still finishes on the back. This one, um, this is the one I'm really excited about because I haven't been able to use this drill on a ball in four years. I might be copying this layout here pretty soon. Uh, this is a 70 by 5 by 70. Um, I got this idea from uh, one of my buddies, uh, Justin Wyman, used to be the uh, Motive video rep, uh, now he's with Storm. Um, the last ball I put this on was a Carnage, which everybody knows was the one that was illegal. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, this this one I'm really excited to get back in the bag. Uh, this is the uh, amplified core, which, as I said, has the four to five inch flare potential. Uh, they're set at four thousand out of the box, so it should be interesting. Uh, on the twelve and thirteen pound, they actually have the grapnel core, which is the honey badger, uh, the honey badger claw core. So it's the symmetrical version of that. Um, the 14 pound, obviously, I have, and, and I feel kind of obsolete talking about my my one, but it's just a standard pinup layout, 6 by 4.5 by 30. Uh, this has a 262 uh, uh, RG with the 022 differential with being a 14 pound, but the 15 pound has a 255 RG 
with an 048 differential, so just a little shorter. Uh, this had an RG of 262, so it gets down a little bit longer, uh, but still has that strong core that's going to set up and make that nice push. So we've been talking, well, he's been talking enough, and we're going to hit the lanes. We're, as I said, we're on the uh, Inferno and the 2015 double singles, which was El Paso for the USBC. So we're going to hit the lanes. He's going to throw a lot of strikes because he has more to throw. So I'm just going to kind of sit back and uh, watch what happens. I'll get out of the way and let him take over. So we will be back in a little bit after the video, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about reactions we saw, and uh, we'll go from there. said earlier, this is James's version of my Honey Badger Claw. He loves this one. I love the claw. Uh, I've told a lot of people with the claw to keep, you know, when you get done throwing it three games or league or something like that, just knock the shine off a little bit with oil shine, clean it, you're done. Maybe 
hit it just a little bit again to keep that, that surface and that freshness on it. Uh, if I compare these two to the phone, I would think this is a little bit cleaner. The phone reads a little bit mid lane and is stronger on the, on the push where this one, you can play a little bit right with it. It's still going to be clean, but it's not going to have that strong, that strong push off the spot. Uh, this one, that I think it was the pin down. This one here with the pin down was, was really interesting to watch this one. This one I am definitely going to try, maybe not the five inch, maybe four and a half or, or something, but this one with the pin down was kind of interesting. Uh, I threw mine on, on the Inferno. Uh, he doesn't like the Inferno. You know, we're fine. <laughs> you, you don't need to go play golf today. It's warm enough. Uh, but it's... Uh, this ball is, I, a lot of people were saying that the, uh, the ordinate solid is a good benchmark. Uh, I think guys with a lot more hand like you do, with, this would be a good benchmark. But like I said, you, you've got three of them, you're ready to go. And this is going to be one of them that's going to be out of your bag first and off a lot. Always. Always? Always. Always, you heard it there first. So that's <laughs> the uh, Flux from 900 Global. And uh, hey, they did it again. So. Again, a huge thanks to Mike Huffman here at Strike Zone of Fort Leavenworth uh, for all his help, letting us uh, come out and do the videos and uh, putting out conditions for us. Uh, questions or comments, leave them down below on YouTube or on Facebook. Uh, get a hold of James or me on Facebook and we'll answer any questions we got. Uh, hey, more great releases only gets better. So make sure you get yours and uh, don't be afraid to try something different. This ball is definitely one you want to try something different with, and uh, I doubt you're going to be disappointed with it. So for James, I'm Ryan. Thanks for joining us. We will see you next time with another release from 900 Gold.